Well, good morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm out here today. I got my buddy Terry. I'm Captain Mike D. And we have 150 live shrimp. The weather's supposed to be pretty good. So our plan is to head out that inlet, go offshore, and put some meat in that box. That's the plan. So wish us luck, and let's see what we can get into today, y'all. Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available and we will have more available soon. And also guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website. So go check it out y'all. And you can be in your own very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. All right, y'all. Well, we made it to our first spot. We're about five, six miles off the beach. We're in 65 feet of water. In the past, I've done really good on sheep's head and porgies here. So we're going to give it a shot for a little while, see if we can't get into something. If not, we're going to head out a little farther. This is uh, the rig we're using today, guys. Just using a simple fish finder rig. Got a one and a half ounce weight to a swivel, about not quite two foot. 30 pound test fluorocarbon, a one knot circle hook. I'm popping the tail off my shrimp, hooking them just like that so they're streamlined, and just dropping it down. And we're in 66 feet of water. We're fishing an artificial rock pile. Uh oh, that's acting like a sheep's head, kinda. What you got there, Terry? Kind of acting like what we're wanting. Yeah, that's what he is. Awesome. Is he legal? I don't think so. Measure him. He's going to be a close one. All right. First sheep head of the morning. So that's good. So they are down there. Come on, buddy. Come on, Mr. 12 inch fish. Nope. Nope. See you, buddy. See ya, Bubba. Terry just got a whiting. Wasn't expecting to see that out here. Uh, I'm happy with it. Yeah. It's, it's a fish in the box. So, so far, Terry's tearing me up. <laughs> I did catch I did catch a hi hat yeah. earlier. He's a nice got, one too. I got him in the bucket here. I was gonna see if I caught a couple more. I might do a catch and cook on some hi hat. But, let him sit in there for a little bit something's starting to happen we've been here about 20 minutes things are starting to happen i got something here kind of had a fight to him in the beginning but now we don't we'll see what it is it is a mango oh wow <laughs> not a bad mango actually no, not really at all, huh? he might be 12. yeah he's looking like he's in the he, he's looking really close to 12. Uh, it's 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Same as the sheep head. Well, hey. So you got something. He started out good, but he went to being not so good. Might be a lane, you never know. There you go. You got whiting, and you got a good fish there. All right, Terry got a good fish. Get him, buddy. That's a good fish. Come on, Terry. You got him up? Get in there. Get in there. Okay, i go get you a net. Reel this up. You gonna need a net? What you got, sheeper? You got a keeper, sheeper? It's a sheeper, it should be. Oh, it's nice fish. Yeah, nice, nice white bone. 
Nice white bro. Alrighty. Dang, two good fish in one shot. Terry's over here using two rods, cheating. You got a whiting on one rod. I learned it from Chris Raspberry. <laughs> there you go, watching Chris Raspberry. You learn a few things. He got a whiting and a dog on Porgy. So far, Terry is putting a hurting on me. As far as putting fish in they, the box. They know it doesn't always happen like that. <laughs> Terry's already put three fish in the box. Oh well. I'll catch up eventually. Just momentarily, I'm sure. <laughs> Terry got something. What are you digging? What you got there, buddy? Sheeper? Oh, nice whiting. Golly. That's a good whiting. Yeah. No! Oh, he's still hooked. <laughs> I thought we were about to lose the biggest whiting of the day. <laughs> nice one, man. That is a nice one, man. It's a really nice one. Come on, buddy. Terry is tearing me to pieces, y'all. They know it doesn't happen a lot. I mean, he is putting on a clinic over here. You're gonna be a while with that, huh? Yeah. Uh, I got something, y'all, finally. If it ain't a red snapper, it's gonna be a good fish. If it's not a red snapper, it's gonna be a good something. Yeah. Uh, nice mango. Oh, wow. Nice mango. I don't even gotta measure that one. Yeah, I don't think so. Yep. There we go. That's a 15 inch roll there. Oh, yeah, all good. That one's going in the boxy box. Look at me putting the first fish in the box. <laughs> Terry, you got something over here? What you got there, buddy? He's giving up now. Come on, be good. What you got? What you got? Oh, another. Sh that one's gonna make it. I, I do believe he will make it, Bubba. I does believe. I does believe. Yes, sir. Thirteen inches. Oh yeah. He's got some right. Hey, 12 and a half, buddy. All right. Good fish. All right. Keeper sheeper in the box. Y'all, Terry is tearing up these whiting. I haven't caught the first one. He is tearing them up, but he's over there fishing with two rods. He's throwing one rod out the back. That's what he's catching the whiting on. He's got one rod. Nice whiting. You got it. They do. Good, good eating fish. He's got one rod straight down, and he is literally taking me to school. Taking me to school today. What you got? Oh, another whiting. Come on, man. Gosh, another big whiting, dude. Come on. This guy is killing me, y'all. Swallowed That's it, though. Nice one there, bud. That is a good one. Well, actually, most of the ones you've been getting are good ones. That's a good eating fish. I mean, take God. those, man. Yeah, golly. Unreal, unreal. Y'all, I'm about to throw Terry overboard. Nah, it's gonna be another pig. He's doing me dirty. No, another whiting. Another whiting. He is doing me dirty, y'all. You know, Mike always tells me, just be better. Just, oh, wow, there it is. Yep, just be better. So, so we got nine fish in the box, and out of nine fish, I've put one fish in the box. So he's put eight fish in the box. I'm just beside. I'm happy with that. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> he is tearing me up. I'm not even catching a red snapper, y'all. I'm just not even getting bites. I'm really just going to give up fishing, y'all. You're a good captain. I'm a good captain. I'm just going to sit here and just drive the boat today. What is it? Digging like a sheephead. Nope, whitey. Another nice whitey. Golly. Unreal. That's another nice one. That's a beauty. I mean, that is a beauty. And the great thing about whiting, y'all, they're great eating fish. There's no size limit. There's no bag limit. There's a hundred pound bag limit. But if you catch a hundred pounds of whiting, you've done did something. Thirteen inch whiting. Nice fish. I just got a hit. Uh oh, I got me a fish, guys. You got me a good fish too. Uh oh, I got me a good fish. 
It might, yeah, it's a pretty nice size fish. This is where it all changes, guys. I'm thinking it's gonna be a sheeper. This is where it all changes. Or a big mango. Big man. Big man. Big man. Yeah, dude. Well, I put the two big mangs in the boat, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Yeah, that's, that's a fatty right there, buddy. Dude, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a fatty. Yeah, that's a fat mango right there. Yep. Wow, that is a good mango. That is a good mango. Grab that box for me, buddy. Look at that thing. I'll let, I'll let Terry catch the whiting. I'll catch those. Another whiting. I like to catch mangoes, though. That'd be nice. Hey, as long as meat's going in the box, I don't care. <laughs> it's all good eating fish. Yeah. It's all good eating fish. It's all good, good family fresh fish fry fish. Yeah. A good one. Yeah, we're going to have a box of fish one way or another. You know, I'm, I might have got into something here it's feeling good it's either gonna be a sheephead or another mango i'm believing unless i got a whammy nope. i got another a grouper i got a grouper <laughs> i got a nice. guy got a nice gag grouper y'all might have been what broke you off earlier uh, exactly hook in too. that's my hook that's what broke me off earlier yep oh, yeah. there's my line and everything <laughs> this is the fish that broke me off about 10 minutes ago y'all i got slammed and then nothing and that's why because it was this gag right here all right so we're gonna get that hook out of you buddy bars i got it i got my hook back nice that's awesome yeah that's a nice little gag oh yeah ain't nowhere near legal but no, it's still fun to catch that's a nice little gag see you buddy boom and Terry got another fish on. What you got there, buddy? Maybe a porgy. Or a small sheep. Small sheep. Yep. Small sheep ain't gonna keep. No, he's not gonna keep. You might just have to let him have the hook, too. Dang it, man. Where's the big sheeps at? I don't know what they're doing. Used to catch some really big ones here. See you later. Hello, oh, Terry. What you got, son? Digging, digging, digging. Oh, you gonna need a net? No, I don't think so. Sheeper? Yeah. She, yep. He might. He. Gonna be close. He gonna be close. That's gonna be close. Terry's tearing up the sheep's head over here. It's no big bruisers. No, he ain't making. No, nope, he loving. Uh oh, Terry got another one. It's gonna be so, a just, just short sheephead, I think. Let's see if my guess is I may have to come fish this side right. of the boat. Nope, it's a box fish. Another box fish. Oh, oh, oh boy, he came undone, didn't he? Unglued quickly. Another boxer. <laughs> what is that? Like eight whiting for you? Yeah, I think. Golly. Another taco. Another taco. Well, there's what we ended up with. Spot number one, y'all. 11 whiting, two mangoes, a sheep's head, and a nice white bone porgy. 15 fish in one spot in an hour and a half. Not bad. All right, y'all. Well, I've taken enough abuse of this spot at the hands of Terry. <laughs> he has completely destroyed me. But we got like a dozen or so fish in the box, right? Oh, yeah. We got quite a few fish in the box. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. We're going to call it quits on this one. This was our first spot. We've been here an hour and a half. So in an hour and a half, we made a video and put over a dozen fish in the box. You got another one? Okay, it's small. Nope. So we're going to see what we can do the rest of the day. We're going to go to another spot and see if we can't duplicate what we just did or even do better. We got some whiting here, a couple sheep. Look at that. We got whiting. No, another whiting. So we got plenty of whiting in the box. We got a sheep's head. We got two nice mangoes. And plus, we've released some cool fish. Released yeah. a grouper. 
that's always cool when you see a gag grouper so we're gonna get out of here all thank you guys so much for being part of the channel and watching these videos hanging out with us fishing with us we appreciate it very much until we see y'all again tie lines jetty rockers give me a thumbs up thumbs up for the whiting and we'll see you guys on the next video